Is it recording? Yep, it's rolling. <laughs> What is going on today? We have a special video of Samuel um, because this is my first truck on the channel and also the first diesel on the channel, right? Yeah. First diesel. First diesel. Yeah. This is Sam. Known him for a while now. Sam's been to trucks for a long time, right? Uh, he oh, actually yeah. has his CDL license. And Sam, tell us a little bit about the truck that we're in, the year, the model, the make, all that stuff. Uh, it's 2006 GMC 2500 Duramax, LBZ Duramax with the Allison 6 b transmission. Out of all the other options that were available to you, what, what made this stick out to you? It's kind of funny too because when I was looking for trucks, I was like, the 5.9 the Cummins, like the third gens, I would, that's what I kind of had my eyes set on. And the 7.3 Power Stroke too, I, I was really into those. I was looking one day and this truck popped up and it, there was no rhyme or reason. I just clicked on it and I ended up getting it. <laughs> That's the end of that, you know? You already knew about this whole like engine transmission setup. And Not stuff. really. I didn't know a lot about the Duramaxes when I got into this. Really? Like, this is the LBZ, the third one. Mm -hmm. They only ran this one for like a year and a half, 2006 yeah. and then early 07. What's the displacement of this motor? 6.6 .6 liter. Got it. All, all the Duramaxes share the same. They're pretty much similar engines. They don't. They change a couple little things here and there. Yeah. But for the most part, these Duramaxes are they're pretty interchangeable with each other parts. You can take pistons out of an LB7 and put them in this. But it's like yeah, I didn't really know a whole lot about these trucks when I first got into it. So I kind of just figured it out as I went. To my knowledge, you haven't had this dyno, right? No, I haven't. Uh, so. Like, if you were to just estimate them, what do you think it's making at the wheels? I'd probably say high 400s and, you know, 900 foot-pounds, maybe. Yeah. In, in the nines, maybe a 1,000, because the reason I say that is there's a guy on YouTube, Truck Master. You should check him out. He yeah. makes really good content. Oh. He's got almost the identical truck only he has an upgraded turbo it's just just a stage one turbo so it's just an upgraded replacement turbo his made like 511 and 1000 something foot pounds so yeah that's why i i would say this is okay. probably right around that area yeah. estimate and what kind of tune are you run on this i have custom efi live tunes from idaho rob mm -hmm. uh, atp trucks i got a dsp5 switch so it's just a knob and you can literally flip through the tunes on the fly while you're driving level one is you know, upgraded stock, a couple horsepower more. And two is the tow tune with the exhaust brake built into that tune. That one's a 30 horse, I think. I usually drive around on one or three. And three is a 60 plus 60 horse. And four is a plus 90 horse. And five is a plus 150 horse. And I can't, I can't even use the level five tune. The tranny just, it just doesn't hold it until I get my tranny upgraded. That tune doesn't really get used that much. Light driving around, you can use it, but just a full throttle pull on the 150, it, it doesn't like that. What does the transmission <laughs> do? Does it start slipping? Or yeah, like... it just it just mushes through the gears. It doesn't have that nice feel, you know, yeah. grabbing each gear. It, and, and the torque converter actually starts to slip if I roll into it on the highway. I'm pretty much limited from the train. And, the, and the tr there's nothing wrong with the transmission either. It's it shifts perfectly fine. It's just. Now that I said that, 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 I said that it's gonna blow up. <laughs> <laughs> that lady looks so concerned walking her dog. <laughs> so I'm on level three right now. Yeah, that's the level three tune feels really good to me. That's it kind of runs like yeah. runs like off. It, run, it runs the way it. Yeah. And as you climb up into like the 90 and the 150, 
you can really feel that it the tranny just doesn't really like it. Sure. And that's a known thing. I knew that when I got the tunes. They say you throw any more than 100 horsepower at these trannies and they just start to not be good. We'll get it built. I mean, I, I've heard good things from the like about the Allison transmissions. Yeah, yeah, the Allisons are good. They're uh, they're electronic. I have a shift kit in it. I actually that was one of the first mods I did. Really, uh, Mike L um, trim springs and drill a couple holes in the plate the, in the middle of the valve body there, and it just helps shift it a little bit harder, which yeah. is nice. Speaking of like upgrades and stuff. Can you like come up with a quick list of, of things yeah. you've done aftermarket to the truck? Yeah, I did. I, I've, most of the mods that I've done are longevity mods. So like I did a fast 165 lift pump in a, in a um, beans diesel sump. So the fuel just kind of drops out of the bottom of the tank and it feeds the lift pump, which pushes positive pressure to the injection pump, the CP3. Instead of relying on the CP3 sucking the fuel on its own, those pumps are huge, huge money. So that lift pump really helps save that. Uh, I have ported fuel fittings. I have a deeper oil pan and a big cat oil filter too. So I have like three quarts extra oil capacity, which yeah. is good. See the converter locks up right there and you instantly can just... do intercooler pipes, um, Y-bridge. The EGR is deleted right now, but it's all the stuff is still there under the hood. So once I do my Y-bridge and intercooler pipes, it'll eliminate all that garbage sure. from under the hood. It cleans the hood up nicely under there. Miles. I got an intake, straight five inch exhaust. What kind of intake? SMB. Uh -huh. I like the SMBs. They, they make pretty good stuff. It's got a nice cover on the top. It seals it off from the engine bay and takes the air in from the fender. So is that the no. same brand as your downpipe too? No. Oh yeah, I also have a downpipe. That's um, Profab Performance. I have an upgraded transfer case from uh, Mark Bendler. He, he, that's all he does. He builds transfer cases, differentials, and transmissions. I don't know. What else do I have? The tunes. I, I have a uh, EGT sensor. Yeah. You need that when you start calling for more fuel. You need to keep all your temperatures. I have the, the monitor right there you can see. Mm -hmm. So what do you usually use the truck for? Just commuting, or do you do? Yeah, work with I, it? I have no need whatsoever for a diesel truck. It's literally, just have it out of want. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> that's what I do. I'm, I work on diesels. It's my that's my shit, you know. So yeah. I love them. They're, they're just it's a superior engine, I say. But mm -hmm. I mean, I've towed like I I bought a Mustang and me and Matt went down. It was just over the border of South Carolina, right? Yeah, yeah. We drove down, no trailer picked up a trailer down there, rented, and then got the car and trailered it back, and then I was able to return the trailer up here. Yeah, so we towed the Mustang from South Carolina back up to uh, New England. That, that was a cool little trip. It did fantastically, too, the truck, up through the mountains oh, and, yeah. like, North Carolina and uh, West Virginia and stuff. Uh, do you know the official, like, tow rating for this truck? Oh, I don't know. You can you can put so much weight on these things. It's all a matter of how much the rear springs. Yeah. You know, this is just a 2500 HD, so um, the 3500s and the dualies have a little bit... Right. beefier suspension and brakes in the back but I've towed a um, Dodge 3500 dump truck with two plows yeah two nine-foot plows and that was probably the heaviest load because the, the trailer itself weighed 8,000 pounds so and then the truck on it was another 8,000 and then there was the two plows so it was probably <laughs> like 17,000 pounds I was pulling and yeah the, the truck was just doing the V but <laughs> it towed it fine it was stopping it that's what the trouble you come into is stopping right. it. it pulls it just fine though but you got I guess kind of a tow haul mode on this, right? What, is, yeah, what does that do exactly? It'll lock up the converter earlier and it'll hold the gears. So instead of like up shifting to the next gear, it actually, you know, it knows how hard you're on the throttle. It'll hold the gear for, you know, the extra RPM and it, it'll downshift aggressively. And if you have the turbo brake on, and that's, I mean, you can literally get off the highway without even touching the brakes with right. that as right. it downshifts. It's awesome. It's a pretty good road trip and truck overall. It gets decent gas oh, mileage yeah. too. Like cruises at a low RPM on the highway. Yeah, yeah. I mean the thing rides pretty smooth going down the highway. It has the IFS, so it doesn't have a solid front axle like the Dodges and the Fords have. But there's some inherent problems. Like it's got these chintzy garbage tie rods mm -hmm. that I need to upgrade still. 
because until you do that, launching yeah. it, uh, and especially with the higher end tunes. Oh yeah, a lot, put a lot of pressure on those tie rods. Yeah, when you put it in four wheel drive and the boosted launch, those little tie rods literally snap like toothpicks. <laughs> so they suck. So I'll be getting some kryptonites for it as soon as the money comes. Yeah. Slowly but surely, I already did the Pittman arm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the idler arm. I got yeah. the whole front end is pretty much is just garbage from the factory on these trucks. But you can make them how they should be. Yeah. You just takes a little time and money. So, since it's getting a little dark here, I'll ask you a couple more questions. If you're gonna keep this truck for a lot longer than you plan on doing some other mods, right? So, oh, yeah. what's your, if you could shortlist those mods, what would it be? Well, I wanna take care of the front end. Tra the transmission's gotta get built, because I can't even use my tune, my hot tune. The body, I just wanna get the paint done. I wanna repaint the truck. You know, maybe get a, a four inch lift and lower it down two inches because Massachusetts can't get a sticker with big lift kits. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I just kind of take it as it comes. I just did all the brake lines in the truck. I had a brake line go on me, so I bought they look good too. Full they stainless look steel brake lines. Mm -hmm. I got to do the fuel lines on it. You know, stuff breaks on these things, and it's, it's kind of expensive because it's just what the nature of the truck. Yeah. Some diesel trucks, they're just more money than. So I, I want to get a small car and just drive that around and kind of focus on this and make this truck the way it should right. be. And it drives nice too. Like I've only, I've driven a, a handful of trucks. I mean, and I noticed that with the GM made cars, they have a, a very unique uh, pedal feel. Like there's a lot more brake travel. Oh yeah, in, yeah. In the GM cars and uh, yeah. with the steering a little bit too, it's a little looser, but you. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I just did the, um, I put in an upgraded steering box. The other box, I thought it, the, the box had play, you know, in the wheel. The steering shaft had a little play, the box had a little play, and the two of them combined, it just, it, it added up to like, you know, like a whole inch of just nothing. A the lot wheel of play in the wheel, yeah. So I ended up putting a blue top steering box in. It's definitely a little tighter, I can feel it, for yep. sure. And I put a um, upgraded steering shaft into a Borgeson steering shaft mm -hmm. that eliminates the, 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 the faulty slip joint in the factory one. Okay, so top three things you dislike about this truck. I think it rides bad for what it is. It's an IFS truck. They're supposed to ride good. This one doesn't, but that's because I, I have the torsion bars turned out a little just to lift up the front, to clear the 33s on it. The paint is just falling off of the truck. There's like random spots where the paint's just coming off, I guess. That's just GM's shitty paint, but yeah. Yeah, for an 06, it I, looks I guess, pretty good. I guess, yeah, it's, yeah. And it rattles, you know, there's just little rattles in the interiors, but. That's this era GM, yeah, too. That's, that's just anything, it's just. Yeah. Especially trucks with such a long wheelbase, there's a lot of flex too. When you, yeah. Especially when you go over bumps, you can notice that kind of jiggle yeah. a little bit. I um, guess another thing too I would dislike about this truck is like certain things, the Dodge and the Ford, they do it a certain way and it's like like their transfer cases, their front ends, they're beefier, they're bigger. You, you like this, it's got these little pencil tie rods. Like why? Why do you cheap out like that? Right. And in the transfer case, it's a 263. They got a 273s in the Fords and the Dodge. Is like, it's just a bigger case. I don't know, I dislike everything about it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot to like about it too though. Yeah, there's a lot to like, but there's a lot. Uh, it's expensive to, to work on it, you know? It's yeah. just, that's the price you, you gotta pay. It like starts really good in the cold, I'll give you that. That's one one big plus with these Duramaxes. Yeah. They start really good in the cold. I mean, they have, hey, 20, 20, what, 25 degrees this morning? Oh, that it's... wasn't even that cold. I've had this thing like, I've, I've, you know, experimented and it, you can plug it in and it'll start like a 90 degree day when it's plugged in. It, you know, once it hits that high idle, it warms right up and it has glow plugs and an intake heater. Like the Cummins's, they just have an intake heater. The Power Strokes, they just have glow plugs. This has both, so it really helps a lot. In the for sure, these it started trucks, right up. Yeah, these trucks start good. Everything's got its trade-offs. Yeah, for sure. You know, the truck, it's, it's overall, I like the truck a lot. I and just, I, it, and for a New England truck, this thing is very clean underneath. I know, too. yeah. it's. The underside is good. Yeah. It kills me to drive it in the winter though. I don't yeah. want to drive this truck in the winter anymore because there's no way around it. The salt, it's gonna rust out. I try my hardest. I'll swing it. You Check this swing? out. Ready? Yeah, there you go. I swung. Oh yeah. yeah. Woo! This Look truck at that. has a short bed too. If this had an eight-foot bed, it's even longer. This is so big compared to the GTI. Yeah, she's a she's a big, bulky, heavy, fat whore. Yeah, I was gonna say the same thing. You can't beat that low-end diesel torque. Little drone, but it has no muffler. It's just five-inch straight exhaust. Yeah. Work. Okay. All right, ready? Uh, and rolling. Oh, we've already passed 60. Zero to 60, so that was 5.7 seconds. 
and we spun the wheels too. If I did that in four by four, it would have been way faster. Oh yeah. And we're only on the level three too. I would very much like to be able to use that hot tune, but coal rolling and all these youngsters and their coal rollers. So you best believe once you get upgraded tie rods. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll be doing it. We'll be doing a boosted launch for sure. In fur by fur. Rolling. So much spinning. Oh my god, dude. So much potential. There's potential. If you had it built, like the transmission and the front end, um, I bet it could I bet it could do zero to sixty in like sub four if if you launch it in four-wheel drive. Oh yeah. I, you wanna do one more? Go yeah, on this we'll, way. We'll do one more. I'll try to not I'll just go easier on it. Six six point four. Oh, we we'll definitely have to do a couple zero to sixty runs uh, once you do the tire rods. Yeah. Update video coming. Coming soon, bitches. Not Cummins though. I like Cummins. I like Cummins too. We have a lot of cars in here. Oh.